Okay, so let's uh, continue with chapter 11. Um, <clears throat> let's go to the terms here. Now we're going to talk about angie or angio vessel, aort, aorta, archer, artery, 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 ather, yellowish black, and atri as an atrium. So Angio, like an angiogram, would be to record uh, like an x-ray of a blood vessel. Aortic, like aortic stenosis, narrowing of the aorta. Arterio, so arteriosclerosis, would be hardening of the arteries. Athero, that's atherosclerosis, uh, all right, yellowish plaque, or an atria. Uh, atrial, you know, uh, pertaining to the atrium. Brachio is arm, cardio, heart, cholesterol, cholesterol, corona, like coronary bypass, heart. Cyan, cyanosis would be bluish, and mike is m mucus. Okay, so brachial artery, cardiomegaly, enlargement of the heart, cardiomyopathy, disease of heart muscle. Um, bradycardia, tachycardia, brady would be slow, tachy would be fast. Uh, cholesterol, how about hypercholesterolemia, condition of excessive cholesterol in the blood. Um, cyanosis, again, abnormal condition, bluish discoloration. Ox, ox, mean oxygen, pericardio, pericardi, pericardium, phleb, <laughs> Vein, sphygma, pulse, stetha, chest, and thrombo clot. So phlebotomy would be incision of a vein. Phlebitis would be inflammation of a vein. Okay, hypoxia, condition of decreased oxygen. Uh, sphygmomanometer, <laughs> instrument to measure blood pressure. How about a stethoscope, instrument to examine the chest. Um, so. And thrombo would be like thrombosis. Okay. Valvula is valve, valve, vas is vessel, vascular vessel, ven, vein, ventricle is ventricle. So how about a valvuloplasty? Valvuloplasty, surgical repair of a valve. Um, mitral valvulitis. Right, valvulitis, inflammation of the mitral valve. How about vaso, vasoconstriction or vasodilation, narrowing of the vessels or widening of the vessels. Uh, vas, of course, vascular, vascular surgery uh, pertaining to the blood vessels. Vein, venous pertaining to the veins. Uh, what about ventriculotomy? What would be the ventriculotomy, incision of the ventricle of the heart? Or interventricular septum? That would be the wall separating the ventricles. Uh, quick quiz, hot shot. <laughs> the double layered membrane surrounding the heart is the a pericardium. The contraction phase of the heartbeat is called systole. The, relaxation, the relaxation phase is diastole. All right. So what are some pathologies of the heart now? You have arrhythmias, a heart block, AV block, flutter, fibrillation. Uh, what about con some congenital heart diseases? Um, you have coarctation of the aorta, patent ductus arteriosus, PDA, septal defects, ASD and VSD, and tetralogy of fallot. Again, in an anatomy class, I would go into the details and explain everything for you, like what this is. I don't want to uh, get too much information in your brain, right? You have enough things to worry about. Um, congestive heart disease is CHF. The heart is unable to pump the required amount of blood. In the U.S., probably the result of high blood pressure and coronary artery disease results in pulmonary edema. Okay, fatal if untreated. Coronary artery disease, such as arthrosclerosis, thrombotic occlusion, ischemia, necrosis, infarction, acute coronary syndromes, ACS, unstable angina, myocardial infarctions. Coronary artery disease, uh, what are some drug therapies for CAD? Uh, we have nitroglycerin, nitrates, aspirin, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, statins. 
Uh, one thing I'll tell you about beta blockers is it keeps your heart rate at a, a steady pace. So when uh, patients are on beta blockers, you have to be careful, uh, especially when you uh, exercise with them, because a beta blocker won't exponentially increase their heart rate. So let's say uh, their resting heart rate is about 65, 70. Let's say they go up and down the stairs. Naturally, for you and I, our heart rate should go up, right? But someone on beta blocker, it'll it won't go up so you're thinking okay they're fine at 65 but you look at them and they're just really fatigued so you go by rate of perceived exertion like how how tired do they look how do they feel versus just objective numbers such as their heart rate because their medicine is keeping their heart rate down so be careful with that um, coronary artery disease CAD surgical therapies for CAD coronary artery bypass grafting like a cabbage uh, percutaneous coronary intervention Heart, other pathological conditions, endocarditis, vegetations, hypertensive heart disease, mitral valve prolapse, murmurs, pericarditis, and rheumatic heart disease. Um, blood vessels, you can have aneurysm, you have a DVT, those are the things that we're afraid of. Hypertension, peripheral vascular disease, Raynaud's phenomenon, varicose veins. Uh, so a sign of peripheral vascular disease is intermittent claudication and absence or pain of discomfort in leg at rest, but a recurrence of pain, tension, weakness after walking. Um, which arrhythmia refers to rapid, random contractions of the atria and ventricles? That would be ooh, 350 bits or more per minute. That would be fibrillation, atrial fib, ventricular fib. Um, not good. All right, now you'll see the lab test, uh, the BMP test, cardiobiomarkers, lipid test profile, lipoprotein, electrophoresis, um, x-rays, you can do angiography, arteriography, uh, CT scan, digital subtraction, angiography, DSA, electron beam, computed tomography, EBCT or EBT. Uh, some of the ultrasound tests you can do is a Doppler and an echocardiography. Again, you don't have to know what they do or why you would do it. You just need to know that, hey, DSA is a digital subtraction angiography. Uh, echo is an echocardiography. Uh, nuclear uh, cardiology, you would be a PET, which is a positron, positron emission tomography, uh, technetium TC99 and thallium 201. Um, MRI, you can do a cardiac MRI. You can do cardiac catheterization. ECG and EKG is an electrocardiography. Uh, so those are the same thing. You'll see ECG and EKG, and people get confused all the time, but it's the same thing. Halter monitoring and a stress test. Cardioversion, defibrillation, endarterectomy. Endarterectomy. Extracorporeal circulation, heart transplantation, thrombolytic therapy, transcatheric aortic valve replacement, the TAVR, um, coronary artery bypass graft, the cabbage, uh, very common. So a section of the vein is removed from the leg. It's usually the saphenous vein uh, and anastomosed, right? Remember what anastomosis means to a coronary artery to bypass in areas of arteriosclerotic blockage. Okay, so that's blocked. So they're going to bypass, vein bypass from the graft. And like I said, it was this, usually the saphenous vein from your leg. An internal memory artery is grafted to a coronary artery to bypass blockage. Uh, percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI. So includes percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty, PTCA, stent replacement, laser angioplasty, and arthritis. So let's say you have some plaque, arthroclerotic plaque. They'll put this little stent in. It's like a little balloon. They fill up the balloon. Bam. So the plaque is pretty much moved out of the way. And then that stent is kept in place. And then the balloon is taken out. Very common. All right, so let's look at these abbreviations that you'll see in the medical chart. AAA, abdominal aortic aneurysm. ACE inhibitor, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. ACLS, advanced cardiac life support. ACS, acute coronary syndrome. ADP, adenosine diphosphate. AED, automatic external defibrillator. AF, AFib, atrial fibrillation. AICD, automatic implantable cardioverter defibrillator. AMI, acute myocardial infarction, ARVD, arthromogenic right ventricular diplasia, ARP, angiotensin II receptor blocker, AS, aortic stenosis, ASD, atrial septal defect. 
AV, atrioventricular, AVR, aortic valve replacement, BBB, bundle branch block, a BNP, brain natriuretic peptide, BP, that's your blood pressure, cabbage would be a coronary artery bypass grafting, CAD is coronary artery disease, CCU is the coronary care unit, uh, cath is a catheterization, CHF, congestive heart failure, CK, creatine kinase, COA, coarc of the aorta. Again, I don't need you to know uh, uh, this, this is beyond the scope of this class to know what all this means, right? I don't need you to know what a brain natriuretic peptide is. I just need you to know that BNP stands for a brain natriuretic peptide, okay? Uh, um, this would be a, a, a much tougher class if I asked you all this stuff uh, and what it meant. Uh, medical terminology is just learning about what are the abbreviations that you will see. And then in your anatomy class, in your physiology class, it's your job to find out what is the mechanism of congestive heart failure. In this class, I'm not going to teach you what congestive heart failure is, just to kind of introduce you to what CHF is. CPR is cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CRT is cardiac resynchronization therapy, CTNI, cardiac troponin, DES, drug eluding stent, DSA, digital subtraction, angiography, DVT, deep vein thrombosis. Now when you also uh, study for this, you want to make sure that what are the things that are more commonly seen, right? Um, you've never, you probably don't hear too much of CTNI, so okay, so, but you've heard of uh, DVT, so I'm probably going to ask you the ones that are more common, right? So ECG, EKG, and echo, um, ejection fractions, EPS, electrophysiology studies. So if you're like, oh, I've never heard of it before, then most likely you're like, okay, Patel's probably not going to ask me that much, right? So, I mean, I, everything is important, but I want you to know all the ones that are more common. Uh, ETT, exercise tolerance test, ETT, maybe exercise tolerance test combined with the radioactive tracer, EVR, endovascular aneurysm repair, FFR, fractional flow reserve, HDL, that's your high density uh, lipoprotein, you've heard of when you do your uh, blood work, you have your HDLs and your LDLs. Um, HSCRP, high sens sensitive C, creatine protein. So these are all blood tests also that you could do to see how healthy you are. HTN is hypertension. IABP, intraaortic balloon pump. ICD, implantum cardio defibrillator. IVUS, intravascular ultrasound. LAD, um, the LAD is the left anterior descending coronary artery. It's also known as the widow maker because if the LAD is blocked, then your chance of survival is not too good. So they also call that the widow maker. LDL, low density lipoprotein, LM. WH, low molecular weight heparin, LV, left ventricle, LVAD, left ventricular assist device, LVH, left ventricular hypertrophy, MI, myocardial infarction, right? So you're thinking, okay, I should probably know what MI means, right? MVP, um, not most valuable player, but that's mitral valve prolapse, uh, NSR, normal sinus rhythm, and STEMI, non ST elevation myocardial infarction. Remember, we were talking about that most myocardial infarctions are due to ST elevation, but an N stem I is non ST elevation. NT pro, N terminal, PAC, premature atrial contraction, PCI, percutaneous coronary intervention, PDA, not public displays of affection, but that's a patent ductus arteriosus, posterior descending artery. PE, pulmonary emboli, uh, Serena Williams had a PE. Uh, PVC, premature ventricular contraction, and the SA node. SCD, sudden cardiac death. SOB, not the SOB that you're thinking, but that's shortness of breath. <laughs> so if you look in the chart and you say, oh, this patient is a SOB, no, it's not. It's a, I wouldn't say is a, I would say experiencing SOB, which is shortness of breath. Uh, spec D, single proton emission computer tomography. Stem I is a ST elevation M myocardial infarction. SVT, uh, um, supraventricular tachycardia. TAVR, transcatheteric aortic valve replacement. T, trans esophageal echocardiography. And a TEVAR, thoracic endovascular aneurysm repair. And last but not least, we have TGA, troposition of the great transposition of the great arteries, TPA, tissue type plasma activator, UA, unstable angina, angina being chest pain. 
VF ventricular fib, VSD ventricular septal defect, VT ventricular tachycardia, all a very, very uh, serious stuff. Ventricular fib and ventricular tach, uh, serious stuff. WPW Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. Again, I don't need you to know what the Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, all the signs and syndrome is. I just need you to know that WPW is uh, Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. Quick quiz, hot shot. <laughs> I love saying that. That's from Speed from Keanu Reeves, if you ever saw that movie. Which procedure involves insertion of the balloon tip catheter into the coronary artery? And that would be the percutaneous coronary intervention, CS and CAT, PCI.